Here we are discussing about the eubacteria, the common features we have discussed in the previous video. Now here some characteristic features over to the cell structures we will discuss and the reproduction also. The common example of cyanobacteria that is blue bridge algae is nostoc and anamia. So this is the structure of nostoc. Okay. So what kind of the structure found here? What kind of the cellular modifications are there? Let's see. So you see here, so the nostoc, as we know that the cyanobacteria found as single cell or that is called the unicellular form, colonial form or they are found in the filamentous form. This is called the tripod of the nostril. So tripod means what? When we are talking about the tripod, so tripod is nothing a chain of oval or cylindrical cells. It is a chain of oval or cylindrical cells. Is called the tripod. As we know that the cells are over or the spherical one, which is a chain like structure, but this entire tripod is covered by the mucilaginous shape. Okay, so the tripod will be mucilage shape. Now is called filament. So, filamentous form is that, but basically it is of tripod along with the mucilage. So, this mucilage is secreted by the cells inside. Okay. So, the entire tripod is covered by the mucilage and secretion of this mucilage. Okay. Mucilage secretes by cells themselves. So now you see the unicellular structure, that means the cell, they have the particular structure, what kind of structure that we have discussed already in the previous lecture. So what is the presence of mucilage? Why it is present here? So it retains the water actually. So mucilage retains the water and protects the thallus from getting dehydrated. So actually in the scarcity of water, this mucilage keeps the uh, cells waiting, okay, so that they not get dehydrated. Moreover to that, such a large mass of, okay, so many mass of these mucilaginous masses may be found in the uh, water habitat. So the size of this mucilage mass may be up to 20 to 60 millimeter, okay. So if I draw a mass of such mucilage one, where so many such filaments are present, and out of this one, this is the one filament which is drawn here. Okay? So this is about the mucilage. Now about the cells. So basically in the tripod, here we are particularly talking about the nostril. Nostril and anabina, which is commonly found blue-green algae. Okay. So in nostril, if we see that, so there are two types of cells are found. The one type of cell that is called the vegetative cells. Okay, the structure of cells we have discussed in the earlier video. Okay, so there are so many vegetative cells are there. But you can see that the some cells with this structure is called. The some cells are become hyaline. Okay, these hyaline cells are called the heterocysts. Okay, so the position of this heterocyst may be polar in position or it is intergalactic. So in this diagram, I have shown both the kind of the heterosis. It is the intermediate one, okay, that is in between, okay. Except the terminal, it is found anywhere in the tripod, which is called the intercalary heterosis. If it is found at the terminal, so it is called the polar heterosis. Move over to that. Particularly, this is the intercalary heterosis. So the structure is drawn here. So this whole structure, whatever these are, the, called the pores. So heterosis inter heterosis, which is intercalary in position. So it has two. Okay, so these two 
are called the polar poles. Okay. Whereas in polar vitrosis, you can see here only one polar pore is there. Here it is drawn here, only one polar pore. Okay. The, the side of the vitrosis which remain at the other end, okay, where no other vegetative cell or no other cell is there, so that at that side no polar pore is there. Okay, so the uh, polar vitrosis, the side of the polar vitrosis which remain in the contact with the other cell, so that side polar pore is there. Here in the interplanetary vitrosis, both the side it remains in the contact with the other side, so both the side polar pore is there. This polar pore is responsible for deliberating some movements of the substance to the surrounding cells. More important that the function of vitrosis is not every time present in the cyanobacteria. For example, in anarina, vitrosis is not found, but in non-stop vitrosis are found. So basically the function of hydrosis if we say here, so hydrosis basically has two functions here. It is a nitrogen fixing structure and it has in the asexual reproduction or formation of the hormonia. Okay, so the two functions are of the hydrosis is there here. Okay, so the two functions are there. Nitrogen fixation and other function is in the formation of hormone. What is hormone? That we can understand in the asexual reproduction. Now, see here the, how the nitrogen fixation. So, actually, in introsis, the nitrogenase enzyme is present. So, nitrogenase enzyme, which is responsible for the conversion of the free nuclear nitrogen into the other forms of the nitrogen, which are readily available to the plants and other organisms, so that the nitrogen is available. Okay. So, in nitrogenase, in presence of nitrogenase enzyme, so the molecular nitrogen. Okay, molecular nitrogen, that is the gaseous nitrogen, convert into the ammonia and then after it into the nitrite, nitrite and in the nitrate forms, which are readily available to the plant. So it is said that in paddy fields, the nostrils are abundantly found. Moreover to that, to grow more paddy plants or to develop herbs to provide the nutrient substance. Uh, basically, the nitrogen supplement to provide the nitrogen supplement in the paddock to the paddock plant. So, the nostrils are provided there. So, it will uh, the fix more and more nitrogen. So, the nitrogen is available to the uh, crop plant. So, it increase or enrich the soil fertility in such way. Okay. So, see, nostrils are the photosynthetic one, that is autotrophic one, as they have the chlorophyll pigments as we have discussed one, but this nitrogenous enzyme works only in absence of oxygen. It is the condition, the precondition required for the nitrogen fixation or for the activation of this enzyme. Okay, no stoker requires no oxygen, but during the time of the nitrogen fixation, in air aerobic condition, they convert this things that is nitrogen into the ammonia and its other forms or the nitrate and the nitrate forms. So these are the things about the ketosis. Moreover to see, you see that here the polar modules are there. So what do you mean by the polar module here? Actually when this ketosis is young, the polar pores are open. So it is interactive one with the other cells. Okay. But when it is not going to fix the nitrogen or when it becomes the older one, so this polar nodule, the pore forms the polar nodule, so it blocks the pores. Okay, the formation of this nodule blocks the pore. So the cell, now this older ketosis becomes inactive. Now it is not involving in the fixation of nitrogen. So the intercalary cell, the intercalary ketosis, which possesses two polar pores, so each develop two polar nodules. And the polar hydrosis possesses one polar pore, so it produces the one polar nodule. Other cells are the vegetative 
tubes are. Okay, this one is also vegetative tubes are. 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 But it is a modification of the vegetative tubes are, which is called the acarnate. Okay, so what is acarnate? That will be studied in the reproductive part. So this is the structure belonging to the cylinder form of the nostril. Now when we are talking about the reproductive part of this organism, so we know that the flagella and sexual mode of reproduction is totally absent in the cyanobacteria. So instead they perform the asexual reproduction. Mode of asexual reproduction here by the four is Hormogonia, acarnates, hydrosis, and fragmentation. Now, what is hormogonia? Okay, as I told here, the hydrosis do the two function. One nitrogen fixation and other is the hormogonia hormogonia formation. Okay, so what is the hormogonia? Actually, hormogonia is nothing but it is a they are the small fragments of the filament. Okay? They are small fragments of filaments. Actually, filaments break at the point of the heterosis. Suppose the heterosis is here, so it breaks from here. Because heterosis is the weak link of the filament. Okay, so from this is the point. See, that's why it is written here. They are held in the formation of hormone. Hormogonia. So at the side of the, from the side of the heterosis, this filament break. As it is a weak link. Okay? And this hormogonia then come out and grow into the large apparatus. Okay? So this is the mode of asexual reproduction by formation of hormogonia. Another is the acarnate. So as I have shown in this diagram, this is the acarnate. So what is the acarnate? It is a modification of vegetative side only. So when is scarcity of water, the water scarce, okay, so the major cells may be going to dehydration, it undergoes to de in dehydration process. So for the survival of the nation, the some cells, okay, some vegetative cell store food and the develop the thick wall as you can see. They, de they develop thick wall and the store the all the food. Okay, so this structure is called the acarnate and it is a one kind of the adaptation for the survival which is called the paradigm. The cells that come from the acarnate, suppose this cell come from the acarnate in unfavorable condition because as we have water is the unfavorable condition. So if this cell is not going to form such a structure, acarnate, so they could die. Now, on getting the favorable condition, that is on the when the water is available or the favorable condition available, so this acarnate is grown into the new filament. So, this is the mode of the acarnate that will uh, bring us about the asexual reproduction. Now, third one is the heterosis. As we know that heterosis are nothing but the nitrogen fixation mode is that. So sometimes heterosis also divide and form the new spores at the cell division is that. So actually content of heterosis divide into the number of spores. Suppose I draw here one heterosis. The content of the heterosis divides and it forms. Number of pores. Okay. Number of pores are there, and this is the other contain cyto of the with the cytoplasmic contain is there. So as it divides, so we can see here the two such formation is there. The further division takes place. So the spore formation takes place and moreover to that, the 
the cycle all contain of this cell divides in equally into the cell. Okay. Now what happens? This is the entire structure that we say. This is the entire cellular structure. Okay. Now it breaks. And release these spore or we can say we release the this size. Now these cells grow into the callus called the filament. Okay? So in such way the heterosis when in such condition when it is not doing any type of gel fixation. So whenever it does require to the reproduction, the content of the heterosis divided into number of spores. See, this is the spore formation, initiation of the spore formation. Because in most of the asexual mode of the reproduction, as we go ahead in the classification of the plants, the spore are the specific structure which responsible for the asexual reproduction. The spore formation takes place, and then under the cell division, and these are. Uh, heterosis break its membrane and release these cells or the spore. Okay, so they are compared, they are the homologous to the spore, we can say. Okay, so this is the heterosis. Another is the very easier one is the fragmentation. So actually, where the large filamentous are there or the large colors are there, so they break under the mechanical some uh, uh, movement. That means due to the water current or the biting of fishes, this filament breaks. So they break into the numerous cell in the small fragments. Okay, and then after this small fragment grow into the larger filament. So these all are the asexual mode of the reproduction. So here we have studied today about the structure of most of what kind of the cells they possess. Vegetative cell, which has a very common structure. Other kind of the cell that is called the heterosis, which is the nitrogen fixing cell, and it is also responsible for the formation of hormogonia and itself involved in the uh, new cell formations also. Okay. Entire trichome is surrounded by the mucilage. This mucilage is secretion from the cells themselves only, so which protect the cell from the dehydration. And the large mass of such filaments ranges from the well, because this is a very microscopic, microscopic structure, measure into the micrometer, okay. But the cell mass, may such mass of, masses of this, such mucilaginous masses may appear to be very large in appear compared to their individual size. Then after, the sun cells form the acarnids, okay. So now, as we go through the asexual mode of reproduction, so hormogonia is a small fragment filament which break at the point from the heterosis, which is the weak link of the filament, and then after this small fragments uh, become detached, comes up uh, uh, individually, they grow into the new filament. A kinase that is in scarcity of water, the cells store food and develop thick over structure, which is essential for the parallelization that is called the survival. Whenever favorable condition is available, they grow, they grow into the new filaments. The cells which do not, they do not develop a kind of they go to die. Heterosis, content of the heterosis divide into the uh, spore formation that is spores and the, then after the cell division takes place, which is responsible for the formation of the new filament and the fragmentation is there. Okay. The trichome is the word that is the chain of round or oval or the spherical cells along which mucilage sheet is called here filaments. So in next few lecture we will discuss about this hypertrophic bacteria and the mycoplasma.